finally finished. Let's go. Over the course of a couple of decades, computers have gotten increasingly better. But even though they have changed so much, they have one thing in common. Transistors. Transistors are the basic building blocks of computers. They can be arranged in the right way to form logic gates, which are the foundation for machine code. I wanted to understand how computers work. So I took a closer look at transistors and logic gates. And this is what that is. First one is a AND gate. So if I press one of the buttons, nothing happens. If I press both buttons, the light goes on. Then I have the OR gate here. If I press one of these buttons, the light turns on. If I press both buttons, of course, the light turns on like an OR gate. Then I have an inverter or a NOT gate that is always on except when I press the button. And then I put a set reset latch. So if I press the set button, we will store a one. And if I press the reset button, we will store a zero in this bit. So it's a one bit memory, basically. My original idea was to build a 4-bit adder, but for some reason I ran out of transistors. No. Something's burning. Something's burning. Do you see this? Oh, damn. So instead of building it in real life, I've programmed it. This is the finished project. You can check out the code in the description. So you can simply drag and drop items onto the screen and connect them with cables. With the right click you can flip the switches and this is the AND gate that you already know. To understand what is going on inside of an AND gate we can visualize it like that. This is called a truth table. So we have two inputs A and B. Both are off the output is off. If one of them are on, the output is also off. If both are on, the output is on. Similar to that, you can create truth tables for every other gate. If you connect an AND, NAND and OR gate in this way, you can get an exclusive OR gate or XOR short. Now back to the 4-bit adder. A 4-bit adder is basically a very simple calculator. To understand how it works, we need to look at how we count numbers. In our decimal system, there are 10 digits, 0 to 9. And if we want to go higher than that, we need to add one digit to the left. Its value though is not 1, but 10 times more than the one before. Computers, however, only have two digits, 0 and 1. So once we have reached 1, we have run out of digits. So we increment one digit to the left. This is called the binary system. Each digit is worth not 10 times more, but two times more. So one, two, four, eight, and so on. So if you want to figure out what number this is, we can calculate it. Eight times one plus four times zero plus two times one plus one times zero. 10. How do we add two bit numbers together? We do it how we learned it in school. 1 plus 0 is 1. So we write down 1. This is the sum bit. Then 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. But in binary, that is 1, 0. So we write down the 0 and carry the 1. This is called the carry bit. Now we have 1 plus 1 again. That's 0, carry the 1. And 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. So what is that now? That is 1 
times 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 0 times 4 plus 0 times 8 plus 1 times 16. And that equals 19. The first number is 13 and the second number is 6. But how would you do that with logic gates? Now this is called a half adder and it's adding two bits together. However, in our calculation, we actually didn't need to add two bits together, but three. Here, for example, we needed to add the carry bit to the other two bits. To fix that, we can replace the half adder with a full adder. And this way, we can add three digits together. Every one of these adders has a carry input and a carry output. Now we can put four of these in a row Connect each carry output to the carry input of the next adder and the last output goes into the fifth input of the counter. And voila, a 4-bit adder. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 7 is 11. 15, 19, 21. 